posed by wildlife wet markets. Global efforts also need to prioritise finding a vaccine and Australian researchers are playing a vital role in this. Australia is providing development assistance in response to the pandemic and the WHO is an important partner in this effort. Inclusivity has never been more important as we confront the immediate impacts on communities and economies. It is essential that no populations or potential partners are excluded. Australia will continue working with the global community to end this pandemic and strengthen health systems to protect against future pandemics. We will now invite Indonesia and understand that Germany is back online now, so we'll go to Germany after Indonesia. Indonesia. At the outset, our appreciation to the WHO for its continuous support and effort in coordinating the global COVID-19 response. We extend our sympathy and condolences to all who has been affected. Today, the world come together to fight a common enemy that has impacted gravely the global social and economy to every country. Indonesia joined global effort to continue increasing concerted measure to prevent, detect, and respond COVID-19. In its own part, Indonesia has formulated a series of policy to fight COVID-19 in all aspects of health, social, and economy through whole government and whole society approach. Allow me to stress out the importance for us to deliver a unified and synergized action to end COVID-19 by first, strengthening our political solidarity, second, ensuring the global supply chain for accessing essential medicine and medical equipment for all countries remain open and to ensure a mechanism for equitable and timely access to affordable medical and vaccine for COVID-19. Third, supporting the strengthening of the national health capacity of countries in need remain crucial. Multilateralism should remain the platform for international cooperation. And Indonesia commit to support the success of WHO Solidarity Trial and ready to contribute to upscaling production of a new antiviral and vaccine COVID-19 for global need. Thank you. Thank you very much, Indonesia. Unfortunately, we have... And then Cote d'Ivoire. Zimbabwe, you have the floor. The Third World Health Assembly, the Ambassador and Permanent Representative of the Bahamas, Her Excellency Mrs. Kiva Bain, the Director General of the WHO, Dr. Ted Ross, distinguished guests. Let me begin by congratulating you, Madam President, and the Bureau on your election to preside over these proceedings. Allow me to staff and the global health workforce for their hard work. In response to the COVID-19 threat, our President, His Excellency, Comrade Emerson Lambuzom Nangagwa, declared a state of national disaster on the 17th of March, 2020, and announced the postponement of major national events and discouragement of travel to and from high-risk countries. Zimbabwe recorded its first COVID-19 case on 21 March, 2020, and introduced